Hello everybody, how's everybody tonight? Just uh, give me a thumbs up if uh, everything's okay with the sound, everything's okay with the picture. Let's see who's here. Mrs. M. Kitty. Ziki. Mr. Kurt. Wade. Franz. Ashley. Donovan. Ahmed. Yo, quite a few people already. Yo, my God. Troy is here. Uh, it's Avnash. Yeah, everybody has it, has it, has it, has it, has it. Just, um, Tonight, uh, we've got some prizes to give away, um, like we normally do. Um, been sponsored by a couple of people. Uh, coil Company have uh, sponsored a nice set of coils for the winner, one of the, for the winner. Um, also, uh, Mr. Ziki from uh, Pompous Pom. Got a nice shirt. Um, and, uh, oh, sorry, Voodoo Vapor, Ziki. Uh, nice shirt. A three milligram bottle of Mrs. Sourberry um, and then Cotton Bacon has generously given us a packet of uh, Cotton Bacon. Uh, so yeah, a nice little prize to win. Uh, the shirt is a 2XL shirt. So yeah, um, uh, Ashley is banned from winning tonight because he's won too, far too many. So Ashley, you are banned from winning tonight. Um, I think we actually need to make it that you're not allowed to win, you're only allowed to win once a month. Uh, I think that's uh, make it fair on everybody else. Um, sorry, I have my fidget spinner out. So if you hear that noise, it's me and the fidget spinner. I uh, do have a little bit of nerve starting these things off, but yeah, um, uh, yeah, we'll soon go. Uh, I just want to say, how's it to see if there are any questions already? <laughs> this is Ahmed. Miss you too, my boy. I had a lack of burger for you today. Uh, Mr. Coil Companies, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he's one of uh, Ziki's, yeah. Coil Companies, yeah. And the only person's not just Jim Bacon from Cotton Bacon. So, yeah. Uh, all your sponsors are in the house. You've got questions to ask them. Please ask them questions. Uh, uh, Rian from Coil Company, here, yeah, And Ziki's, yeah, somewhere. I saw him, Nana. How's it, Gerrits? Eduardo. T Vapes. Yeah, okay. Just um, before we start, uh, obviously those who were present on Monday, we did a uh, uh, look at the um, um, Coil Arts uh, new tank that they bought out um, called the Azeroth uh, RTA. Um, and I have been testing it with different builds in. Um, Pretty much every bull that I've put in um, has worked well, and yes, I was able to get up to a four millimeter coil in three four millimeter coils in there. However, did try 3.5 millimeter uh, Claptons, and I had a little bit of an issue with them. So yeah, I would say uh, a little flat wire. Uh, the four mils were flat wire. Um, uh, tested it on an array of juices, and I can I can honestly say I've. I think I've got something for everything now. Uh, as I said to you on the night that I tested it, I did test it with a bakery uh, um, uh, a flavor bakery juice in here. Um, and um, uh, I said I wanted to try it with different juices. So I've tried it with a bakery juice. I've tried it with a fruit um, juice. I've tried it with a menthol. And I can honestly say it doesn't suit menthols. And it doesn't suit fruits so um, if you're a bakery lover this is yeah well I like bakeries I like fruits I like menthol so I've now got the perfect setup for me yes not everybody has a vape shop which they can go take stock out of um, but I've got my perfect setup now I've got my I'm gonna say my the, the um, uh, Azeroth RTA is the perfect tank if you like bakery goods
There's nothing that beats it. Absolutely nothing that beats it. Um, uh, it lacked a little bit on the, the fruit side uh, with the same set of coils in. It lacked a little bit on the fruit side for me compared to the Kylan. Um, and it's definitely not a menthol tank at all. Okay. Um, so uh, for bakery, um, I'm going to say yes, definitely um, uh, best tank out there in the market for bakery goods. Still got to say my Kylan for fruits. Can't go wrong with this with fruits. Um, it does lack a little bit compared to the Azeroth from a bakery perspective. Um, um, uh, although, um, uh, and also this I don't like menthols in it neither. Uh, my menthols go in my Omni, um, fruits go in my Omni. So that's my feedback. Uh, although it might not be the right feedback that you're wanting. Um, uh, if you may be not as fastidious as me, the Azeroth will suit you hands down across the board. Um, but I've got now the perfect setup for me. Um, uh, a tank for my bakery, a tank for my fruits, a tank for my menthols. I'm, I'm in a happy place at the moment. Um, so, you know, if you walk into the shop and you pick up my Azeroth, you're going to have a bakery note. If you pick up my Kylan, you're going to have fruits. And if you pick up my Omni, you're going to have menthol in it. So, but don't pick it up unless I give you permission to do so. So, any questions or questions you want answered on the Azeroth, just give me a quick, quick one before I get into the rest of the stuff for the evening. Uh, oh, my coffee. And my coffee's got VCT in it, guys. Oh. Hey, ZQ, look after my kids, eh? Uh, if they don't want to go to bed, they mustn't go to bed. Uh, vengeance. Um, yes, this is bloody. I still couldn't find it. I looked and looked and looked today. I tried for a bloody camera and I couldn't find one. Sorry, I've got to keep on blowing in the screen because it's an autofocus camera. Okay, so I've got the Azeroth on my trusty V-Guard version 1.2 Minikin. No, I won't sell it. I've got the Kylan on a V-Guard 150. I've got the Omni on a um, Steampunk um, uh, uh, Tesla. And then I've got VCT, which is my tobacco juice. I've got it on my DNA um, uh, 75 Squonker with a Serpent 22mm uh, bottom fed RDA. Uh, on the triple deck, on the I eventually settled with um, uh, 3.5 millimeter ID, a um, um, uh, Haywire Nichrome 80, the flat wire. Um, uh, that's that's what I eventually settled settled on, and my bill came out to uh, 0.19 ohms with that with that build in it. So that's the triple coil, and I have to say. This thing chucks really chucks clouds with that build in that flat wire from Haywise. I'll show you a bl uh, blow it out. This thing, the the the, the vapor production on the Azeroth is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Checking your questions, testing the reload. Yeah, I'm waiting for that, uh, Kurt. Perfect, Locus. Pop in the shop. Tell me who you are, and then we can we can have a cup of coffee. What? Eduardo, juice consumption. Yeah, it, uh, with those triple coils, it does drink juice. It drinks juice more than the the. Uh, Kylan, but that's purely because of the triple coil and the amount of vapor production. Your vapor production is totally, it's a ripple effect the whole way down. So yeah, 
Ähm, äh, ja. Uh, Ronaldo, I don't know. They might come up with a normal super RDA. They might. Uh. Where's the ginger midget? Ginger midget's in another 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 household. You more than likely come on Nana. <laughs> yeah, the the Hobbit only makes rare cameo appearances. Eh? Um, yep, there's VCT in my coffee. Okay, let's get on to um, what's new. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop some pictures on the screen just so that you can see it because it's easier than me holding it up like this so to have a look at it. Uh, I, some of these items I have tested, other items I haven't tested. So I'm just going to find, sorry I don't have them listed yet, ah, that's the one I'm looking for. Um, the Zion came into the shop today, uh, or oh, sorry today, yesterday fun enough. It's a, a, a item made by Armageddon, same guys who make um, uh, the apocalypse and make the elite so you know the quality is right up there um, uh, it has got a uh, um, let me just check I'm almost positive it is but bottom fed was it or was it not bottom fed yes it is bottom fed it's a bottom fed so it would be perfect for squonkers okay the nice thing about this is that it, it is only a single coil uh, so your juice consumption is not going to be had, had that high it's got some really big post holes. You can see uh, the post holes uh, are, are, are rather large. The nice thing about it is, is this airflow is actually very ingenious, uh, the way that they've done this airflow. Depending on where you position this airflow is, depending on whether you've got a really restrictive draw or not, um, because you can actually position one of the airflows uh, coming from, you can position two from the front, you can have it positioned from the side, you can have one cut off, Really, really, really clever um, uh, um, uh, RDA. And uh, what I've heard for that, I have not tested it. I have not tested it as yet. I just haven't had the time. But for one or two people that have bought it that have tested it, said it was epic. Um, they put in some coil company coils um, and uh, they, they put in, what was it, the, the frame staples from the coil company and they were they were blown away by the flavor that came off it so yeah that's uh, something if you if you're in the market for a bottom feed um and the brand is amazing brand you know they've, they've done the apocalypse there's the new apocalypse out, out so yeah that's that's an awesome little little setup it was more for the restrictive draw type of vapors and the single coil guys perfect little um thing to compete with the hadley uh, or, or that type of, of um device Okay, so that's what's came into the shop. Comes in a nice little camo bag, um, uh, like the, you know the bags that the Armageddon's normally come in. The, the apocalypse apocalypses come in. Let's open it up here. In the bag, uh, you obviously get the get the the tear, the dripper itself. You also get a little bag full of goodies. Uh, which includes your bottom fed pin, spare o-rings, spare grub screws. The grub screws on these, they actually look to me like they're already heat treated uh, from the color. So that would be nice if they are. Um, yeah, uh, it's a nice little cute little, you can compare it. Let me find my, you know, you can compare it. There's it up against the the Serpent 22. Um, let me hold it like that rather. There it's up against the Serpent 22. So it's just a little bit taller than it. Uh, got a nice little small little uh, um, drip tip, a nice little restrictive tip. I think this thing's going to be a little winner with uh, as a bottom feed. So if you're in the market for a bottom feed uh, for your squonker, um, uh, yeah, that might be right up your alley. Hey? Let me just check if there's any questions regarding regarding this device before I put it one side. Talil, I haven't tried it. Other people have tried it and who I would trust their opinion and they've said it's really good. Um, but I will get to that. I'll get to that as, as, as soon as I get a gap to test it. Uh, but looked at looking at the design of it uh, and, the, and the nice airflow, it is going to be a restrictive, um, as I said, a restrictive uh, 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 dripper. 
but a lot of people are looking for that lately. Mr. Lung Brewery is in the house. How's it, Philip? Yanka, I will, I will compare the captain when I get to it. Uh, Eduardo, I did not enjoy the troll, to be honest with you, because my peak insulators kept on kept on uh, melting. Yeah, I didn't enjoy the troll whatsoever. It's not a, a for smallish builds, the troll is fine. Uh, but for anything that retains heat, like captains or, 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 or that type of stuff, uh, unfortunately, that peak insulator was a little bit of a dodgy one. Uh, you can melt those things very quickly. Uh, easy to wick and stuff like that, but that's about it. Eh? I'd stick to the baby beast, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, there's Philip. Philip was one of the guys, and, I would, and as I said earlier, and I would trust the opinion. Um, he's he got the the Zion and he's been trying it out, uh, and uh, yeah, if if, uh, if um, um, he says it's it's good, then I, I trust his opinion. Um, you know, I haven't tried it at this point. My go-to, which I also think is a Hadley killer, is the Serpent Twenty Two BF, uh, um, uh, which I think is 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 probably the best little squonking tank at the moment but as i said i haven't try, tried it design yet but I, I will i will give it a go if it's your birthday today yanni happy birthday Um, Gerrit, the, the icon for a normal dripper, the only thing that's very close to that from a flavor perspective is the, in my opinion, is the recoil. Uh, the Druga, although it has got good flavor, it's more of a massive vapor producing, producing thing purely because of, of the size coils that you can fit in those posts. So you want to put the bigger thing in there. Um, uh, I would still say the icon beats the Druga on flavor without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yeah. The Pulse, I think, actually arrived, it was supposed to, I think, arrive today, but I think it might be arrived, arriving tomorrow. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that uh, from Vandy Vapes, so that, that also could be, you know, as I said uh, many a time, the evolution of vaping is, is, is ridiculous. Um, uh, keeps, keeps us in business. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's next? As I said, some of these things, I have been so busy, folks. So some of these things I have not been able to to uh, test as yet and I will test them and I'll give you feedback in the other follow-up live feeds. Another thing that arrived um, uh, was the OBS technology um, they decided they were going to try to do a RDTA. Um, uh, what I do like about this um, uh, which I, you won't be able to see on camera oh, okay is that I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact how they did the posts okay uh, they've got really massive holes for some you can really fit those big coils you know the coils that Rian does those fat frame staples you can fit them in here purely because you know it looks like you know you're looking at it there it's only got the two holes okay at the top but on the side here these little panels screw down so and for for those like framed type of coils because of the squareness of, of um, the, the, uh, the uh, hole, as well as how it lifts up this bottom deck, perfect for those big, 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 big coils. Um, as I said, I haven't played with it yet. The reviews that I've heard from other, other uh, reviewers are, are liking it. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to give that a test to see how that, uh, when I get a chance to see how that um, um, uh, matches up to the rest of them you know it has got airflow control probably the only downfall that i can see with this and i haven't even tried it yet is the fact is you can't do a single coil uh, there's no way to block off the airflow and that doesn't come with a um uh, blocker uh, for an air for a single um that's probably the only downfall that i can see of it as a company they make really good products um also it doesn't come with a um it doesn't come with a 510 
so you really stuck with your goonie type of, of tips um, but apart from that I think it might be a, I might, might be a little bit of a winner so that's that's out of the way let's check any questions Yeah, those coils that Rion make is just, yeah, they, they're absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I can't show the Zion. I, I've got a photograph of it, yeah. That's what the Zion looks like. Um, you can see it's got nice, really big holes um, uh, for coils. Uh, the grab nuts look like of good quality. Um, airflow, the airflow is what um, uh, is good for me, is because it's, you can set it up for a restrictive, a restrictive draw. You know, like Philip. I know Philip likes restrictive draws. So for a person who likes a restrictive draw dripper, going to be perfect for them. And it's bottom feed, so for those squonking guys, you can you can have a ball with that. Also, the build quality is amazing. You know, anything that comes from Armageddon is uh, of good quality. Yo, let's go back here now. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've given you my give you given you all that. Then we got a mech in. Okay. Uh, this is a, a beginner mech uh, a kit for uh, beginners who want to move over to mechs. Um, the beautiful thing about this, uh, it's made. It's an, it's a sister company of iDroid called Wonder Vape Co. Um, the nice thing about this uh, is that um, it takes a 2700 battery, which are it's the new batteries, the batteries that I've been waiting for. Um, you know, the kit comes with um, it also comes with a little sleeve so that you can put a 18650 battery. This is like an extension kit. It's got a it's got a post on the one side, so you can have an extension kit. Uh, it obviously also comes with the dripper um, and it comes with spare o-rings etc and screwdriver all the usual footages then I, the reason why I say this is for a beginner um, is purely because it does have a, um, a, a 510 so you don't have to worry really about and it let me just check um, you find something to poke with I just want to see if it's a spring-loaded it's quite a tight spring-loaded 510 pin so it's for guys who it's not a hybrid okay um, got some nice size vent holes uh, the trigger is it's got a nice little trigger I don't know if it's a if it's well, let me just check if it tells you here yeah. no it doesn't say it doesn't say I can't tell if this is magnets or if it's if it's a spring in there. I can't tell about this and the box doesn't tell me. The nice thing is we actually have it comes with your battery. It comes with the new iJoy 3000 Ma uh, 2700. Uh, they say this battery is rated at 40 amps. I don't trust that to be honest with you. But I know Mooch has tested them. I don't quite know um what he gave this as a rating but i would assume it would have been a it would have been a, a fairly good rating also quite an ingenious way of the locking me mechanism for the for the um uh, uh fire button it, instead of a twister it's actually a, a press fit and lock um which is nice um uh, <laughs> i just wish the chinese would actually talk to english-speaking people before they go and write stuff on the side of any mod on the side of this mod it says the best things for the life of me why write something like the best things on the side of a mod it just doesn't make sense you can't see it it's it's quite dark it's black but it's uh, like in Boston it says the best things yeah for the life of me uh, comes with a um, a uh, um, wonder vape dripper uh, very similar the deck is very very similar to I think it's the peerless deck uh, bottom airflow 
a really deep well. The, the, the well on this looks like it's a good nine millimeters, uh, stainless steel deck. Um, so it could be a nice little dripper. Uh, it, it has got single coil mode, so that, that'll be nice. Um, the big bonus with these uh, 2700 batteries, which was a concern and a couple of people raised the concern about it, they do fit in charges, current charges. They fit in a night core. They fit in an EFS 2 bay, an EFS 4 bay. They even fit in the Griffin. So the 2700 batteries can be charged in the existing um, 4 bay charges. Uh, the quality, I'm going to say that this has got good quality. Um, the metal work looks good. The build quality looks good. Uh, packaging is good. Um, whether or not it hits really hard i'm gonna to have to test it but i'll get back to you on that as well but it looks overall it looks nice so that's another for people who are wanting to get into using mechs this is something that i would be prepared to sell to somebody who's new purely because it's got a little bit of safety in it uh, you obviously still need to know how to build but um yeah so that's that any questions on that let me look and have a sip of coffee before i dive dehydration here Two seconds, let me catch up on the question now. Uh, yeah, Ziki. Marianka, we do have a flip top dripper just for the life of me. I can't remember what it's called. For the life of me, it, it flips like a almost like a, a smock tank. It flips for the life of me. I can't think of what the name of it is. Um, uh, let me go and just check here. Maybe I can see it if I look here quickly. MGMT, I think it's called. Uh, MGMT, let me just check if that brings anything up. Yes, um, it's the authentic MGNT. Uh, I'll put a link to it up on the on the site here. Uh, that does have a flip top and that's a dripper. So you can see that there. Um, that is might be what you're looking for. Okay. Marianka, it's a single battery compared to that Geek Vape uh, Mech Box was a dual battery parallel. You know, obviously in a single battery, you're not going to have as long a battery life as you would have in a in a dual dual. Um, and there's there's wiring involved in the dual where this is different. Yeah, you know, it's it's two totally different types. Uh, Mark, we don't currently have stock batteries by themselves. We've got them. We were able to organise batteries that came in the units that take them. So we were able to get them into the country like that. It is extremely hard. To get batteries into the country legally illegally yeah but we, we do everything by the by the letter of the law so yeah we don't currently have but we are uh we have ordered we're just waiting for them to arrive Yeah, I would, I would give it a 30 amp rating, Ryan. I wouldn't give it 40 amp rating. I see big numbers like that. Mm, yeah, no, no. Oh, man, it does that. How does the RDA fit on the mod? The mod is wide. Yeah, the mod is slightly wider. Uh, you probably got about a milli millimeter around um, uh, uh, the mod. Um, Daniel, as far as I know, Wonder Vape is part of iJoy. It's a sister company of these, but I stand to be corrected. You know, I, I, I don't go and look up on these things, but I, as far as I know, it's a sister company. Uh, blow a cloud. Yeah, the uh, Wonder Vape, the single mech is 995 uh, with, you know, that battery, that battery, I think would retail for probably the 200 Rand mark, I think. 
So, you know, you're getting a MEC and a uh, IDA for, uh, call, it, call it 800 bucks, um, 780 Rand, which is a really good price. And it seems like it's fairly good quality, um, you know, uh, 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 yeah, above average quality. Uh, I'm, I'm very f fussy with that. It's not something that I personally would use. I like hybrid mix, and I've gone into that before. Um, but yeah. Snaps down. Size wise, it's probably about a centimeter longer and a little bit wider. I'm not Mrs. M anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, uh, they, they, they have to because that's like the that's like the new in thing with the batteries. I'm sure that they, they'll start doing mix like that. Almost positive they'll start doing mix like that. Just checking for any more questions here. Yeah, you don't want to experience hitting a mech at 120 watts. Yeah, no. Uh, mechs are, mech is your truest form of vaping. Uh, a mech at 120 watts, you are pushing that battery to its max because uh, you're going to have a really low build in there. Yeah, they fit, they fit the night core. The 2700s fit the night core. They fit the EFS soda chargers 2 bay, 4 bay. And they fit that the Griffin eight bay charger. Um, they fit perfectly. Uh, actually, charge the set of batteries early on. Charge them no problem. Okay, then um, the captain. Watched a bit of reviews, and there were some mixed reviews, and, and, and I think I'm going to have to agree with them. Uh, obviously, the unit that we've got, we've got it on special at the moment. We were lucky enough to have the units arrive with batteries in them we were able to get them to put batteries in so it does come with the two uh, the two um hydro batteries um uh, we got them in um, um the black carbon fiber and then the gunmetal carbon fiber um it, it it reminds me somewhat of the besides the trigger it reminds me somewhat of the uh, cuboid if you can remember the cuboid um just larger scale you know, looking at this, you know, you can fit some really big drippers on the top of this. Um, the carbon fiber, this, I was going to make the assumption it's a sticker. Looks of good quality. Uh, just a little warning because a couple of people have bought them from us. The mod is not scratched. Okay. They've had to take this mod out and they've had to put the batteries in. Okay. So a little bit of dust has got into some of them on the front screen. And some of these little panels on the front have got a scratch on them. It's not scratched. You just peel the protective layer off and then the scratch goes away. So for those who have bought them, don't get a fright when you open and you might see a little scuff mark. Just pull the protective layer. Yes, there is a protective layer. People fought with me today saying that there wasn't. And I eventually told the guy to come back to the shop and I peeled it off for him. There is a protective layer of it. So those who might order this, don't worry if you've got a little bit of a scuff mark on it, just peel the protective layer off. Okay, so um, uh, uh, I'm not, I don't go through all the specs of it. I just look at a device. I like the, the look and feel. It is, you know, is a little bit of a chunky, um, a chunkier uh, uh, um, mod, you know, size wise. Obviously with the two batteries, the bigger batteries in there, they've had to make it slightly bigger. Um, um, and um, uh, uh, but it's for, obviously I've also got big hands in my hands it's quite comfortable I like the way the button works it's a nice clicky button um, as I said you can put big drippers on you etc um, what I have heard though and watching other reviews on it and I'm not copying them I just got to test things myself um, is that it, it is lacking a bit in power okay so what I've done, 
I've got my trusty V God, which everybody knows is uh, the one mod that I trust before anything else. Uh, it's never let me down and the wattage uh, and that is as true as I can get it. I had this set at 60 watts, so you can see it's 60 watts. Okay, when it eventually decides to focus. And I've got this set at 60, whoopsie. I've got this set at I do like the screen. The, the display for us older people is nice and big and bright. You can see the screen is nice and big and bright. I do, the, the display is, is really, really, really nice. Uh, it's in normal mode, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna have a vape on it and tell you whether or not it's right or not. That was at 60 watts on the captain, okay. Um, go into the V-God at the same wattage. Yeah, uh, without a shadow of a doubt, um, it is underpowered. Um, um, for somebody who's never... It's their first mod they wouldn't know any difference um, uh, it's probably against the minikin it's probably about 10 yeah 10 to 15 watts difference in power and you can feel it i'm going to crank this up to 75 and see what this if it's similar let me just crank this puppy up to 75 So I've got it on 75 watts. Hey, I'm good. If I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, it's probably about 15 watts different to a minikin. So uh, against an alien or a um, against an alien, it's probably going to be about the same hit as an alien at the same wattage on a, um, a predator. It's going to probably be about five watts underpowered against a V God um, Pro 150. It's also going to be about 15 watts underpowered compared to compared to that mod. But overall, for 1,200 bucks with batteries, you're paying that's 400. You're paying 780 rand for a mod. Can't go wrong. I said we got them in black. We got them in gunmetal. Um, uh, brilliant starter mod because it's got the power. It's got the power that you need. Lovely button. I love this button. Really, really nice. Carbon fiber looks good. It does everything else. It's like any other mod does. USB. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it's quite a nice mod, guys. Um, uh, would I have one myself? Yeah, I think I would. I would actually keep one for myself, um, purely because of the batteries. You know, also the fact is, is that it does come with that. So if you're worried about batteries, it does also come with the same thing that our joyous the the, the mix got is that little sleeve. It's got the posts, the 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 contacts on the under to to convert a one eight six five zero into a uh, to fit in there. So yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah. Any questions on the, the captain? Well, I'll put that puppy away. Comes with a condom, yes. I think an elite would have a slight overhang, not on the sides, but on the front. There would probably be about a mil and a half overhang um, uh, on the front because you must remember elite's 28.5 millimeters. <laughs> yeah, I do have giant hands. Eh?
Yeah, Johnny, the, 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 ah, you must remember every chip is different. It's like a minikin chip, in my opinion, uh, not, the, not so much the V2, the 180 watt, but the boosts, the, the version 1.5, the version 1.2 minikin, they were the ones who hit hardest. You know, these little V guys, they hit like a beast for their wattage compared. And these, these things hit harder than their DNA does at the same wattage. Uh, anybody tells me I lie, I'm, I'm lying, they must take a long walk of a very short pier. These are the hardest hitting mods available currently, without a shadow of a doubt. Not the V1.0, uh, the, the, the V2, sorry, fuck man. Not the version 2, the 180 watt one, but the, the 150 watt ones and the 120 watt watts. Those things hit the hardest without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, Donny, the Vigot, v you yeah. know, I've got one. <laughs> yeah, the Vigot, the 150, I just think they're slightly overpriced in my opinion. Um, I think you're paying for the name as well, you know. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Justin, it is a lot heavier. It's probably a good 50 to, between 15 and 50 to probably 80 gram, 100 grams heavier than a cuboid. Um, that's purely because of the extra aluminium that they've had to use and the size of the batteries. The batteries, they don't, they're quite a bit bigger than a 18650. Um, you don't really see it uh, until you actually hold one back and I can't find a bloody battery. Can you believe it? All right, there's one there. Let me get the battery out and I'll show you. Um, got next to a, a 18650. That's the difference in batteries. So let me try and see, hold it like that so you can see it. Check the size difference in batteries. That's quite a big difference, eh? In batteries. So yeah, they, 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 there's, there's weight there involved there as well. Okay. That's that. I must plug that back into charge. No, no, otherwise I'm not gonna have a charged battery. Yeah, any questions on the captain before I get on to the rest of the things? Locust, I haven't. I have not tried the Sukali, Sukeli Fukai Geo um, at all. Eh? I know we had a customer come in from the shop that had one. He was in the States and he got one, but I, I haven't. we haven't got them in, so I haven't had a chance to look on them. Uh, price on the mech is $9.95. Um, and price on the iJoy Captain with batteries is a thousand two hundred bucks. Kishan, I, I know Hugo's paid for them, whether or not they've left or yet or not, I have no idea. But um, I, I don't handle that side of it. Hugo handles that side. I just let him buy the shit and I'm gonna sell the stuff and then give it a review. Donnie, the captain can use either 2700 batteries or 18650. It's got a special sleeve, so it can use either. And the same with the mech, it can use a 18650 or it can use a uh, the 2700 battery. Uh, captain or alien? I think I'd go for the captain. Uh, purely because of the the batteries, um, yeah. Purely because of the batteries. Yes, it's it's probably slightly underpowered compared to an alien um, at 60 watt for 60 watt. Um, but it's it, you've got the choice of the better batteries, which is better, better battery life uh, and higher amp draw. Ryan, I have not seen that mix. So I can't comment on it. Yes, we are getting the Minikin Reborn. And Kurt's got the Fukai Geo 3. So Kurt, you can send me one for review. Thank you very much, you're, you're, a, you're a superstar. Uh, and I'll give you full credit for that. So you can, you know, you know what my address is, so you can just send me one, okay? Uh, I'd, Ronaldo, look at the website, but I don't, I don't do that. Uh, 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 I'm not like the other guys that I'll sit with the vernier and measure things. 
I look at it, I like it, I use it or I don't use it. It's one of those things. Yeah. Yeah, the captain's a very nice mod at a very nice price. Okay. Then we got on to, and it's a, it's a topic of debate at the moment, guys. You know, uh, uh, there's such a fine line, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a story behind it, um, uh, so that you know the story behind it, um, and why we got them in. Okay. Um, um, you'll see that we, we stock the bullet box. Okay. Now... This is a styled bullet box. Okay, so I'm just hoping that Mr. Um, uh, Lungbury is still watching. Uh, Phil, are you still watching? I hope you are, because I need. I want to need you here to back me up um, on this, if you are, and I think maybe Kirk might have one as well. Um, uh, a original bullet box costs you 10,000 Rand plus. Okay, now we, do not like getting clones. We, we, we're not a business. Yes, we've had clones in the past, but we're very picky and choosy on what clones we've got. We've, we've, we've got it. We don't have a lot of clones. Well, we currently, I stand to be corrected, but that's the only clone that we've got. And the reason we've got them is that not everybody can afford to spend 10,000 Rand or more on a mod. And so we got a sample in couple of months ago from I won't mention the name of the company of the billet box and we were absolutely blown away by it okay uh, we called it the B box just so that we don't cause any hassles so if you go looking on our website it's under B box not billet box um, just because there's an, an, a, an issue with because it's a it's it is a styled mod which actually basically means it's a one for one clone okay um, and we were absolutely blown away when we got it if you hold it up now that's I put a different drip tip on it but that's what it looks like okay it's this is a DNA 40 okay with the small DNA chip, so it's not even the, the, the DNA one's got the, the new one, their DNA has got the big, big uh, face in, this has got the baby face. Uh, it's, it's, when I say that if you were blind feeling this, you would never tell the difference. It's the exact same weight. The finishes are identical, the, even down to the uh, the um, as, as Philip was in the shop and now Philip's got the original and he's got a clone that even the lazy engraving looks identical same depth and everything it's almost as if these are made in the exact same shop the clone and the original now people are going to hate me for what I'm saying and I'm, I might get taken for a, a going to get posts from the high net worth guys saying, you know, how can you put it in the same category? Ask Philip, would you, how would you be able to tell the difference between the two if you didn't know which was what? If you were given the two of them, would you be able to tell the difference between a clone, this clone, and the original, if you had never owned an original before? I'll let him answer it. Uh, it's taking too long you won't tell the difference okay guys um you know to spend that the 70 watt one is already sold out we've only got the dna's left we are getting more of them um but to spend how much is this going for the dna i think the dna the dna is going for 1890 oh, rand and it comes with a lot of accessories which you have to pay for when you buy a billet box. Now, the story behind us why we didn't get the originals in is because we asked and asked and asked and asked and we were basically ignored. So we wanted to get the originals. We wanted, we were prepared to order 20 at a time and they just ignored us. So we thought, well, you know, there were so many people asking for them that we had to get them. 
uh, and we shopped around and we found about this place and we found them and it comes with everything that you need where buying a normal one you you've got to buy everything extra hundred and twenty dollars for this hundred eighty dollars for that and in this kit comes with everything that you need obviously there is aftermarket stuff which does not come in the kit that we've we've gone since got which I'll throw some photographs up here now okay so that's the insider you know um, you can put stock coils in here or you can build coils. It's got, it takes a Kanga, Kanga base that you can build. It is a limited, it is a mouth to lungy type of device. Um, 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 but the Insider, um, which I've got in this at the moment, uh, is a different deck. Way better airflow. A um, little bit harder because you've got to be very careful with how you put the cotton in. Okay, so that comes as an, as an, as an accessory. Um, we, oh, sorry, wrong picture, wrong picture. We also got the Exa set, which is a really easy way of building, um, uh, a slightly less airflow than the, the Insider. So those are two extras that we've got, and we've obviously also got the extra tanks, the extra glass tanks, um, um, which when I say extra glass tanks, is that little tank that holds your juice, okay? Um, you can see that's the DNA, model it's got the small dna screen where the original comes with the bigger screen um, uh, yeah um, also we've also got panels that have come in a nice little like tigers are panels uh, phil came to the shop today and he bought some for his 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 device and i have to say I, I, the original bullet box that we got in with the kanga base i was like uh, it's a little bit too restrictive for me but i put the the insider in and I'm pleasantly surprised chucks a cloud the flavor is good really really good single coil it's almost like it's almost like that really restrictive um, squonker type of setup uh, really 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 nice Hugo doesn't know this yet, and if he's watching, I'm taking one out of stock. I wanted to just try it and mess around. I didn't enjoy the original one, but I think that was because of the the, the coil structure. It was just too restrictive for me. Um, but sorry, I'm taking one out of stock, whether you like it or not. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I'm not asking. Yeah, but yeah, there's, uh, I see Phillips commented now. He says that you can't tell the difference between the two of them um, if you didn't have, besides the screen, you know, when you switch the screen on. Uh, we will be getting extra accessories for these different panels and stuff like that in different colors. Uh, and I'm sorry that the other ones were sold out, but people were buying two, three at a time. Um, but yeah, it's almost exactly the same um, part of the screen. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, the evolution of vaping folks you guys are so spoilt i was having this conversation when phil was in the shop uh phil's from lung brewery he does um uh, also a juice maker um and avid avid um uh, uh, uh youtuber i'll actually just go and find just give him a bit of a punt because he's he is a nice guy let me just go and find his his channel for you just two seconds because he won't be able to post it The Lung Brewery, where are you now? Uh, I'm just going to post a link to his YouTube channel. Go give him a follow. He gives also, same as us, honest to God. He pays for almost everything that he he, he, um, he uh, reviews. Um, uh, gives you honest to God reviews just like we do. Um, yeah, so go give him a follow. Yeah, Mrs. M. 10,000 is a cheap mod. You can see some of the mods. 20,000, 25,000. Yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah, that's right, Donnie. Is that they, you know, the, the, the situation is we asked. We were prepared to take 20 from them. And they, they never even got, they never even had the courtesy to get back to us. So, you know, in my books, if, you know, if someone's prepared to spend 
okay, we would obviously get them cheaper. But you know, just to, to spend twenty at ten grand, that's two hundred thousand rand on ten, on twenty mods, and they didn't even have the courtesy, and they were actually, as far as I know, quite rude. So yeah, you snooze, you lose. You know, people can can hate us for getting them in the high net worth guys, the high end club. But sorry, um, I'm fastidious about mods, and looking at it, I can't tell the difference. I was holding, I was holding fools today, the original, and that. Besides the screen, which you don't see unless you pull the panel off, you couldn't tell the difference. Ryan, um, the one that isn't a DNA is, is also really, really good. It's a 75 watt device. The DNA in here is a 40 watt. Um, um, I've got this 30 watts. Um, the bowl that I've got in here is a straightforward um, uh, uh, um, eight wrap um flat wire three point three millimeter id i'm running this at 30 watts and you can see that it's 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 chucking for 30 watts and the flavor is really good i've got triple x in there by the way flavor is really good yeah triple x like mr fisher Flavor is really, really. Credit the flavor is really good. I have to, uh, 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 you know, uh, is it is it is it a Carlin flavor? No. Is it an Omni flavor? No. But for a little single coil, for a specific type of juice, I think that suits your menthols and suits your nice, your tobaccoy type of flavors. Um, for me, that's what a way I would see it. I know. I think Phil uses fruits in it, um, uh, in his one. But for me, that would be styled for, for my type of vaping. I think it would be best suited for, for, for me for a nice menthol or a, um, a nice caramelly brown sugar tobacco-y type of the vibe. You know what I mean? That's, that's me. You know, like a nice a rich vape. Yeah, for a for a lady, this is petite. So hold on. Ah, this fucking camera. Yeah, I think I must actually hook up my my um um. Uh, I've got a Canon camera. I must actually hook it up because that's a static lens. I'll do that then, um, Rian. I'll, I'll take one out and put one in there. I think when I take this to the shop tomorrow, because um, unfortunately I don't know what's happened to Hugo's one. Hugo's one, I just can't. It's, it's, something's gone wrong with it. Uh, he's got an old, old, older one of it, and I think he's dropped it and it's not working. But I think he'll want to take one of these out of stock as well really good the original um coil structure that it came with which is the, the um uh you can put a atlantis coil in there i think and you can put a kanga coil in there and you've got the kanga rebuildable those aren't that lacquer i won't lie to you uh, i did not enjoy that vape whatsoever with a kanga base in there because I, I don't like using stock coils uh, this probably this sorry atlantis aspire coil was probably the better one on that but it was too restrictive for me um, and then when, we, when I knew we were getting the exosets and the insiders, I, I, I knew I had to try that first because I wasn't happy with the other ones. But with the exoset, I haven't tried the exoset, but the, the inside, I know Phil's running the exoset and he's loving it because it's easy to wick as well. The ins I've got the inside, which is slightly harder to wick. Um, but yeah, oh, yeah, I'll definitely keep it in my collection. Yeah. Don't suppose those will survive till vape one. Uh, Gerrit, are you talking about the bullet boxes? Cold coffee. I'm talking too much. <laughs> Condensation plex. Uh, 
I haven't tried the I haven't tried the the uh, um, EXO. Uh, so yeah, if you say that if you say the the insider, sorry, the EXO is better flavor, then I'll try one of them as well. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but yeah, the 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 um, uh, I'm I'm blown away just by the insider. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, because the skyline was uh, was uh, was overrated in my opinion, um, the Omni, which is now my number three in my list, beats it. Um, you know, and for yeah, I'm dark. Uh, let me keep because I, I, I think I've already pissed the high high the the, the high end club off already by by saying what I've said about this. I won't piss any more everybody else off. Yeah, Marina, we have got, uh, we don't, we just have so many juices that we don't have them in devices. So I would suggest bringing a dripper or just do the finger test or the, or the smell test. We do have them open. You can test 90% of the juices that we have in the shop um, uh, uh, by doing either doing the finger test or the smell test or bring a dripper. That might be the better way to do it. <laughs> Rune, you got your cap on as well. <laughs> yeah. So that's really it from the new things that have arrived. Um, um, just touching on again for remember those guys who are Durban. We do. Um, we are open on Fridays now until seven o'clock. Uh, we have a happy hour between five thirty and six thirty. If you've come to the shop and you've got one of the little. Um, um, uh, leaflets that we give out when you purchase from the shop you can come in and wave it in front of us you'll get 10% discount or you can go and download an application called Vibe Durban that's V-I-B-E space Durban it has a digital copy on it if you bring that show flash us the digital copy that's on the Vibe Durban uh, app, app uh, you'll also qualify for 10% discount in the shop uh, this weekend we don't have anything on in the shop uh, purely because we've just been hectic every weekend um, uh, yeah so we don't have anything going on this weekend uh, that I know of just yet we might have we will always have juices out for testing um, oh yeah finally our stock arrived of the Fantasia juices uh, we do have them in stock in the in, the, in the, the shop so that has come into store if you have been looking for that on our website that has come in um, also be on the lookout uh, there's lots of new things happening in our DIY section um, uh, in the next two weeks I will do a whole live feed on that uh, let me just check that was a message I'm just hoping that it's not my wife yeah yeah um, there's not many bullet boxes left um, it's hard to get them even the clones it's really hard to get them so yeah um, whether or not we'll be able to get any more or not I can't promise you I can't guarantee you um, but um, uh, yeah there are quite a few DNA's DNA versions left uh, unfortunately all the 75 watt ones have been sold out so yeah um, obviously also guys you must just remember that VapeCon's coming up we are going to be in Joburg um, for VapeCon um, with some exciting things um, obviously everybody knows that we try to get things that are different we've got some nice things lined up that are totally different I uh, won't allude to them as yet um, but we've got uh, some really nice things coming um, and uh, yeah things that people will want to buy because obviously we are we, we different um, let's just check some questions here Ruin the flavors nice on those on those Fanta juices, you know, they they, they, they taste they taste Almost exactly like the real thing though. I don't quite like the mango one the orange and the fan the, the Fanta grape are spot-on <laughs> spot-on um, uh, 
but not for heavy build. So not for a dripper. I don't don't suggest those juices for a dripper. Um, uh, not I don't think it, yeah in a, in a tank that they find. Uh, just be warned that they do eat coils. So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just warning you that up front. They 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 don't like coils. So rather, if you're going to put it put it in a, a rebuildable tank where you can change your cotton out, because uh, they they are a little bit heavy on cotton. Yeah, let me just see who's messaging me. Mrs. M. Mrs. M, I am busy working on the competition. I did speak to Hugo today. We're going to be running an Instagram come uh, uh, YouTube come Facebook page competition uh, of a sizable value. Uh, I will let you know uh, it might not happen next weekend, next week, because I've got a slip plan how I'm going to do it, but it will definitely happen uh, within the next two weeks. Um, but yeah, that, that's coming. Uh, a, nice, a nice big, 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 big um, uh, prize that we're going to give away. Because people have tried the sample box, you know, the problem with it is, you know, it's, 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 it's I, I don't even think the American sample box works, works well. You know, you get a whole lot of juices in a box. Yes, you're paying a lower price on it, but you might get one juice out of 10 that you like. You know, it's, uh, I, uh, the idea is good, but the it's the execution of it, you know, unless you can clearly identify and say, I only like fruits or I only like savories, you know. Uh, you might get like three tobaccos and, and one savory and two fruits. It's, it's, yeah, it's really, really, really hard to get that thing running properly. How long are you in staying in Durban? Because you have no Durbanite accent. How does a Durbanite sound? Uh, I, I was born in Joburg. I've been down here since probably about the age of nine. So uh, if I'm, I'm, I'm true and true Durbanite. <laughs> yeah. You see, in Durban, there's too many other things to do besides going to sit in a vape shop. In Joburg, no one else has got anything to do, so they go sit in a vape shop the whole day. In, in Durban, there's too many things to do. You know, 10 minutes out of Durban, you're in the middle of the wild. Uh, Joburg, you've got to travel for five hours before you're out of, out of, uh, in, in the wild. Kurt, shut up, bro. You're not getting my beard cap. If you ask me one more time, I'm going to cut you off. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, the, yeah, and, and please, uh, I talk, I call a spade a spade. All vapors are addicts. And they're OCD, and they're ADD, and they're ADHD. And they've got addictive personalities dealing in retail and Kurtz yeah, and he will attest to it uh, you will always in the sample box type thing in South Africa if you are based in South Africa running a sample box you would need an admin team just to handle the complaints because people say but I, my one bottle spilled my, my I got four tobaccos and I, it's yeah it's it's no yeah don't take me that harshly by saying that but that's what happens that's what does what happens <laughs> the best part about Joburg Donnie is leaving it. <laughs> I hate Joburg, I, honestly. My lips go dry, my nose goes dry, my hair gets off, my beard goes all frizzy, and um, I can't breathe because the air is so freaking thin. And uh, it's the heat is a different type of heat. I like the I like the humidity. Yeah, no, best part about best part about uh, about Joburg is when you hit Harleburg and you know you're on the way home. Any questions on any of the things? Uh, recaps on the Carlin, recaps on the, the Omni, recaps on the um, uh, um, Azeroth bullet box. Give me some questions, guys. 
I'm limiting you to an hour and a half because I get moaned at. Oh. Um, just, this is going to sound like a really stupid request. Um, and it's, uh, I really, I really appreciate the amount of time and effort everybody puts into spreading the word. But please do not spam the Facebook pages. Uh, I've got a, I'm not going to mention the person's name. I've got a message today saying, please, can you ask people to not spam, not just to not spam the same thing multiple times in a, vape, in a Facebook page. So, um, yeah, if you guys would please, you know, uh, I, I can't stop you. You know what I mean? Uh, it's different if it's a competition. Um, but let me, if possible, please post. You can maybe spread it onto your own Facebook page if you want to. But please don't spread it. Anything that I've spread already in a group, spread it back into the same group. Because I got moaned at today for for causing extra admin work. So, so sorry. Um, and I hope you don't take offense to that. It's not meant to take offense. I'm just trying to, to appease other people. Philip, I'll cut you off as well, but <laughs> just to piss you off. I'll put my other cap on. <laughs> bring your car in uh, let me have a look at it yeah there were one or two of the carlins that had uh, peak insulator cracks um, um, and we've been able to sort them out um, but uh, there's only been two so far that have been cracked that have come back the rest I've all sorted out it was the wicking so bring it back Ruin. let me have a look uh, check the wicking out and you might be a wicking but Yeah, Philip, he comes down to Durban just to get away from Joburg. Um, he came in yesterday, he looked like he was a jittering idiot, idiot. And just one night in Durban and he came into the shop today, nice and chilled. He had the, the Durban twang going, you know, nice and chilled. Yeah, so yeah. Um, uh, Durban, Durban is the best place to live. Locust, um, uh, during the week we close, uh, it's Monday to Thursday, we close, we open at 8 o'clock in the morning and we close at 5 o'clock in the evening. On Fridays we open at 8 o'clock and we stay open till 7 o'clock. Saturdays we open from 9 o'clock to 1.30. That's currently, uh, when we move into our new shop, the hours will change. Um, uh, we will be open longer. I'm not pointing figures, Mrs. M and Mr. L Mr. Limos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, show us the cap. Thanks, Darren. You know, we do try. We try really hard to to have an atmosphere in our shop. Sometimes, you know, we are that we might come across as slightly rude or whatever, and that's just purely because we're so busy. It's not, don't take offense to it. You know, unless I tell you an absolute, tell you you're an idiot, you're not an idiot. Um, um, yeah, we 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 are so busy. It's yeah, it's scary. Uh, and unfortunately, some people take offense to the fact when I say I can't build them a coil because I've got 15 other people who have already asked me to build coils. Um, so don't take offense if you come to the shop. Just, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. If, you, if you've been, ever been to the shop and you think we've been rude, it's not. We're just so, 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 so busy. I have to say that uh, the Azeroth, easy to wick. 
coils are a little bit little bit hard to to put in you got to make sure you cut you cut your wires your leads all the same length um, it has not leaked not and not a single solitary milliliter of juice it hasn't leaked um, uh, I've got just enough cotton in there airflow is really good the only the two downfalls of the Azeroth in my opinion I can't put my own 510 drip tip on I'd love to be able to put a goon goon tip on here and it is noisy you know you can hear it's noisy If you are slightly OCD with noise, this will drive you insane. But um, yeah, the flavor on it is really, really for dairy, uh, dairy for bakery. It's absolutely, absolutely insane. I've got unbaked in here at the moment uh, from um, um, whoopsie, there goes my monitor again. I've got unbaked in here from um, uh, Complex Chaos. Oh, 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 absolutely divine. Yeah, we are coming to VapeCon. Uh, we have booked. We're not going to go as big as we did last time, uh, purely because it's, we almost have to move our entire shop. Um, uh, you know, um, but we will be there. We'll be there with some new stuff, some old stuff, some reborn stuff. Um, yeah, um, and we will have some specials going. Uh, Hugo's busy working on it at the moment, but most of all, we want to meet you guys. So if you if you see us. Uh, if we are busy behind the counter, please don't get upset. But if we are walking around, you can't miss me. I'll probably be the biggest guy there. Uh, not necessarily from height, I'm tall, but I'm also a, a large guy. Come tap me on the back, say how's it, introduce yourself, and uh, let's have a cup of uh, coffee or coke. I just I don't drink alcohol, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, have a cup of coffee with you. The Vickers, the 1.5s are in the air. They should. I'm, I'm really hoping that they're going to be with us on Friday. But looking at where they are now, um, it looks like they're only going to get to us on Monday. So yeah, looks like they're only going to get to us on Monday. We have put the goons, just because people are wanting it, we have put the goons up. Uh, uh, let me just check that, just to make sure that I'm right. I'm almost positive Hugo did today. I had so many people asking yes we have put the goons up on pre-order if you want to order them um, you know they'll go out as soon as we get them um, but we are pushing 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 to get them them here as fast as we possibly can uh, <coughs> cheers Phil Yeah, look, you know, also, uh, that, that's uh, like, like Mrs. M said as well, can you guys give us a review? Um, uh, you'll notice that we do have some negative reviews there, and that's, I won't get into that. Uh, we are all for giving both positive and negative feedback. If you find that something is negative, give us negative feedback for whatever reason, but please make sure it's constructive criticism, not, not, not just because you, you're angry or whatever like that. You know, if you've had a, a juice from a company that you didn't enjoy, you know that's not a not a good enough reason to give a company because of a juice you know so make it worthwhile thanks Kurt Kurt's, a, Kurt's a, also a vape shop owner he owns a company called Vaporway in Joburg and he's he's cut out the same cloth as Hugo and myself um, you know uh, if we were customers in, in, in Durban that uh, are living in Joburg and they need something and we don't have it we, we direct them to Kurt because Kurt's about giving service at the end of the day um, Kurt uh, is, is cut out this as I said cut out the same cloth as us so you know um, if you ever in Joburg or you from Durban and you're heading to Joburg and you run out of stuff um, make sure to look up Vaporway um, he's based in Benoni if I stand to be corrected um, amazing knowledge uh, good quality products uh, reasonable price uh, and you're going to get the same level of service that you get from us Duresh it's in Durban <laughs> the new shop is in Durban let me just check this C 
single coil RTA that you would recommend for flavor? Mm. I would have to go with either the Fujison or the Ferro from a flavor perspective, single coil. But they are big single coils. Yeah, they you need to chuck in some coil company coils and those things because they've got big decks. Yeah, Minican Reborn's on their way. Ruan, it's totally safe to vape up after an operation. Just maybe don't vape in the hospital because they might kick you out. Thank you, Darren, for that nice comment. Yeah, guys, we have a we have a review page on our Facebook page. You know, go drop us a review. You know, we, we that, that, uh, uh, you know just just tell us what you think of us. It's always good to know. Yeah, Ruin, I wouldn't vape if you're going for a mouth operation, but. Christian, I actually have done a wicking tutorial on the Carlin. If you go look at my Carlin review, uh, I do. It starts at about 11, 12, 13 minutes. I do a, I do a review on on the Carlin wicking, so you follow that. Thank you, Yanko. No, I wouldn't vape if you're having. I wouldn't vape if you're having a mouth operation ruin at all. Yeah, Donny, uh, SM25 single coil. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that would also be a good for single coil, smaller single coil. You know, um, also good flavor. Yeah, yeah, I'd go for the SM25. That's a Serpent 25. That's a single coil deck. Yeah, that would be good as well. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. You know how many people ask us if we can do lay bars and, and tuckaways or whatever they call them? <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. Um, be, I would need an admin team just to manage that. Yes, I'm, I'm thinking of forgetting a lot of names. Yeah, Kurt, also the Amit's also good. Also, there's that, um, oh man, what's that other one? There's another single coil one that I can't think of on top of my head. Yeah, there's plenty that are single coils that are good out there. Yeah, Dinesh, bring it in. Let me have a look. Darren RDA, if you're chasing flavor, I'd go for the Archon or the or the the, the recoil. If you're chasing um, uh, vapor production, I would look at either like a uh, a Druga, an Apocalypse, a Goon, uh, and if you really if you've got a biggish device, I'd go for an Elite from Armageddon. Cheers, Cloud Vape. Cheers, Christian. Just to let you know, guys, we hit a bit of a, a plus tonight. At one point, we had the highest number, 78 people viewing, which is, thank you very much, folks. I'm really or I'm humbled by the amount of people that are taking the time out of their day to watch. Um, I'm glad that you, you, you uh, are enjoying it. <laughs> Interest free. Pleasure, Ryan. Well, I can tell you, you know, I, I actually think that the, the, on the bullet box, that the, the metal work is done in China. And then it's shipped off to go to wherever. And then it's put together there. Well, I, can, I know for a fact, uh, I won't mention the names of it, but there's a, a very, very well-known RDA that has a clone. 
and the RDAs are all made in the exact same factory in China. But a batch goes off to get a, the original engraving and a batch goes off to get the clone engraving. And they both come out the same factory. Everything's made in China these days. Chris, any haywire, just to let you know on haywire, there's two new wires coming to haywire. I've tested both of them. Um, uh, there's a 20 gauge round, or sorry, three, a 20 gauge round, a 20 gauge flat, and then a special wire, which I'm not allowed to mention as yet, that's coming to haywire. I have tested all three of them and epic, epic. So you're gonna have a, you're gonna be spoiled for choice soon with haywire. Okay guys, time for the competition. So, just to recap, uh, Rian from the coil company has kindly donated some coils. Uh, they are a set of, um, let's wonder which, which we give away. Uh, there's a set of framed staple coils. Or should I give away some aliens? Let me give away some aliens. There's a set of aliens from uh, Rian, is from Coil Company. I'll just throw up his. Sorry, I've got to find all the bloody. Where? Yeah, I've lost it. From the Coil Company. Um, uh, Ziki from uh, Voodoo Vapor has kindly donated a bottle of um, Mrs. Sourberry. And then there's a t shirt um, to give away. Uh, as well as a packet of cotton bacon. Oh, on the note, people, uh, I saw today that there is fake cotton bacon around, or which we assume is fake because it says made in China. Okay, just let I let you let you know that we are the imp we have the distribution rights for cotton bacon, American cotton bacon in South Africa, and we do supply a lot of vape shops. If you see cotton bacon that has made in China in it, on the back, it's not original. So just be warned. I'm telling you, we saw we saw a pack of cotton bacon that said made in China on the back. It's not made in China. It is actually in fact made in America. Uh, the owner of the company is Jim Bacon, and uh, that's why it's called cotton bacon. So just if you be careful when you're buying cotton bacon to make sure that uh, I don't know if all the packets will say made in China. But um, uh, we saw a packet of cotton bacon that today that said made in China. So just be careful. There is supposedly fake cotton. I don't know if it's true or not, but there's supposedly fake cotton bacon around. Okay. So how am I going to do this competition tonight? Um, I think, uh, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Uh, simple question, a simple question, a simple question. Okay. Oh wait, I suppose not all of you will know that. Um, not all of you will know that. Let me think of a, let me think of a. Come on. I can't think of a question. I can't think of a question. I've actually gone blank. I've actually gone blank. I can't think of a question. Okay, let's do a riddle then. It's going to be maybe easier. Makes it fairer for everybody else. Uh, riddle. Everybody ready? Let me know if you're ready. Just trying to find an easy one. <laughs> 
42. Okay, it's a simple, it's a quick, it's a fun, easy one. Okay, so. You ready? I'm going to look at the first person that I see here. Last week we had a problem because for some, everybody said that there was somebody else that won on my side. It was other, otherwise. So I gave them both a prize. Uh, I'm going to give it to the first person that I see on my screen. You know what I mean? And that's the way I've got to do it, unfortunately. Okay, so here's the question. What language does a billboard speak? I'll repeat that. What language does a billboard speak? Last time. What language does a billboard speak? Hey, you guys are on the ball. Mr. Langbrury, all the way from Johannesburg. And I don't have to pay for shipping because he's in Durban. Philip, come fetch your stuff tomorrow, boyki. Well done, Philip, from uh, Langbrury. is, uh, is uh, uh, full. And his aunt, the answer was correct. It's sign language. You're supposed to go to bed, Phil. Why are you still awake? Is, are, you, are you awake now? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, okay guys any more quick questions you've got luck I've already gone over three minutes any more questions quickly that I can answer regarding vaping Ryan, that's the problem with internet. Uh, unfortunately, that's why we had a problem the other day. As I've got to see the first person that came up on my screen. Um, uh, and I'll show you now. I'm going to show you how I see it. I'm going to paste it in here so you can see it. That's the way it came up on my, th that was the questions, the Lungbury sign language, Ryan Eber's sign language, Akesh, yeah. So that's the way it came up on my system, so you can see I'm not lying. Better luck next time, unfortunately, internet does, does, does help when you've got very, very fast internet. That's what just before the question. <laughs> Maybe next time, Ryan. Uh, Merlin RDTA spare glass. Wasim, I know I've asked whether or not it's uh, Hugo's been able to find them is a different story. I have asked for them, but whether or not he's been able to find them or not. That's a problem with also getting stuff from China. You know, sometimes they just don't make spares. Cheers, Donovan. Okay, guys, any more questions? Uh, Eduardo, I don't recommend putting covers uh, on anything, to be honest with you, um, just in case you get liquid behind them. I know people like them because it protects their mod. I'd rather have a scratched mod than having liquid get behind a cover that can find its way into a crevice and get onto your board or uh, short something out. So 
yeah, I'm not a big lover of putting uh, covers on anything. Yes, it protects it, but a but that's one thing. I'd rather have a scratch than have liquid get behind something. Donny, yep, I'll be really interested in it. You can hit me up with a PM or an email to Craig at surveyp.co.za and let us talk. Well, Sim, I haven't been able to play with the reload as yet. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, I see Kurt agrees with me. Don't put don't put plastic covers over mods. Um, yeah, juice juice gets behind them, and then it can't move anywhere. And you don't feel it uh, on your hands because it's rubber, and then it gets into nooks and crannies, and then you moan why my mod my mod's not working, and then we open it up and we find it's full of juice, and then you moan. Uh, so you rather don't put a rather have a scratch than juice behind a mod. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a night tonight. Thank you very, very, very much for watching. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to um, uh, uh, share the video once it goes live. Uh, get your mates to, to subscribe. We had a record number of people watching tonight, which was absolutely awesome to see. Hope you found the, 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 the session informative to full. Come past the shop, bring coffee when you come, and donuts to come, come collect your prize. Um, yep. Thanks, guys. Spot you around.